Best peak representing my most stable fragment. This will be my M peak. Here I'll have a small M plus one peak. And I will, uh, so let me make the M peak. Let me make this a little taller and this even taller because I don't want to confuse you. Or what we can do is I can just make that one a little shorter and this one a little taller. So this is my uh, stable fragment. I can just make, get it here. I think this is fine. Yeah. So this is my M peak. This is my M plus one peak over here, the small peak. And this will be my M plus two peak. So this is my M peak. This is my M plus two peak. And in the middle, I have a very small M plus one peak. I'm making it over here because there's no space. This is my M plus one peak. The one in the middle, the very small one in the middle. Let me take out my pointer and point these. So this is the M peak. This small one in the middle is the M plus one peak, and the one uh, the one after that, uh, which is one atomic mass unit after that, is my M plus two peak. So uh, yeah, uh, so if you can see the difference in the heights. Now, if you calculate the ratio of the heights for the M peak and the M plus two peak, you will get three is to one because the Cl thirty five isotope is three times more abundant than the Cl37 isotope. So this Cl35 isotope is three times more abundant than the Cl37 isotope. So the heights of these peak will be, peaks will be 3 is to 1. So what you can infer from this is that chlorine is present in the molecule. Because if I have an M peak and an M plus 2 peak, I first know that it is a halogen. And the second thing, when I see the ratio of their heights, I know it's a chlorine atom because the, the ratio of the heights is 3 is to 1. So I can say that a chlorine atom is present in the molecule. I can calculate the molecular mass of the molecule using the, using the mole, uh, mass to charge ratio, which is basically the molecular mass. And just remember that this M peak will always, uh, the, this M peak, which corresponds to the molecule will always be, be for the Cl35 atom. So you always consider the Cl35 atom in the M peak. And in the M plus 2 peak, you consider the Cl37 atom. So this is for chlorine. Now let's do it for bromine. Let me clear the slide. And now I have bromine. So my two isotopes of bromine are Br79. BR81, again, you need to learn CL35 and CL37, BR79 and BR81. You have to learn both of these. So, uh, BR79, uh, so the difference between these two isotopes is two atomic mass units again. So, I will have an M plus 2 peak because I can either have, uh, let me do bromoethane this time. Last time we did chloroethane. Let's do bromoethane. So, I have CH3. CH2 and Br. So in this one, I have taken Br79 isotope in this one. And uh, or I can have CH3, CH2. So I have this and these, these are the two possible isotopes. Uh, both of them are equally, almost equally abundant. Actually, it's not 50-50 exactly. I think it's 49-51. But for our A-levels, we can consider this as 50-50. And uh, so this means that both of these exist in equal proportions in nature. So as these exist in equal proportions, uh, these two molecules are equally likely to occur. So when I make a mass spectrum, This is my uh, RA, relative abundance, measured in percentage. This is my MZ, which is simply the molecule.
molecular mass of the fragments, my tallest peak, which is most, which represents the most stable.